Hello friends. So we just made your penguin body and you see that I repositioned my arms. I moved them. So one is up and one is down. That's just what I thought would look a little better. The next thing we're going to do is make our eyes, our feet, and the beak of our penguin. So to do this, I have a couple of tricks I'm going to show you right now. So you're going to have two black dots for the pupils of your eyes at your seat. You're going to have an orange piece of paper for the feet and beak and you're going to have a long white rectangle. So what I'm going to show you is how to make two shapes by folding your paper in half and cutting out just one of those shapes. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my white paper and I'm going to fold it in half. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay if it's not lined up completely. I'm going to give it a little crease, pinch it a little bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw one circle and then cut it out while it's folded, and I'm actually gonna cut out two eyes at once. So watch what I do. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm just gonna try my best. Draw one circle, make sure that I lined it up. I'm gonna trim my, with my scissors, small alligator chompers, while the paper is folded. Trim, trim, trim. I'm turning that paper like a steering wheel as I go. And voila, there's my two, where's my eye? Now watch, because I cut it while it was folded. So if I open this up, you can see there's two holes there. And watch, I have actually cut out two eyes at once because my paper was folded. So those are my two eyes for my penguin. Now you can do the same thing for your feet. You can fold your orange paper in half and I can actually draw feet and cut them out. So watch what I'm gonna do. I am gonna draw I think just a simple shape for a foot. I'm just gonna draw almost like half of a circle. So I'm not making the toes on this one. I just drew a little rainbow with a straight line on the bottom. And I'm gonna trim this while my paper is folded. Make sure you're turning that paper just like I am. And watch, so I have cut that shape while the paper is folded. If I open that paper up, you can see I cut out those shapes and watch what happens. And now I have two little feet. And I can put them there. If I think those are too small, I can make two different feet, that's okay. If you wanna make the feet like these ones, all you have to do, you would draw the same shape. So a straight line on the bottom, but you would draw little curves for the toes you like that one better. It's up to you. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the beak and the beak is actually the shape of a diamond. So what I can do is I can take my paper, I can draw a diamond shape and I can either cut it out like a diamond shape or if I fold my paper I can cut out a triangle on the fold. That's going to be up to you. I'm going to cut out a triangle on the fold and the last thing I'm going to do is glue all those details down on my paper. So there's my beak, and I like it so I can open my beak up and close it. Don't forget my pupils either. If you wanna make it a goofy penguin, you can do that like our goofy pumpkins. So boys and girls, the last thing you're gonna do, you are going to cut out your eyes. So fold your paper in half first, draw a circle second, cut it out third, cut out your feet using the orange paper. Again, fold it in half first, draw it second, cut it out third, then you can make your beak. When you're all done, if you want to add details like an iceberg or snowflakes in your sky, maybe a friend in your background, you can use the scrap paper or you can use your color sticks to add those details. All right, friends, happy creating.